My brothers and sisters, clearly Allah says that وَمَا خَلَقْتَ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. مَا أُرِيدُ مِنْهُمْ مِنْ رِزْ وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَيُّتْعِمُونَ I do not want from them any provision, nor do I want them to feed me. I do not need human beings to give me food. That is what Allah says. إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقُ ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ Indeed, it is Allah who is the continual provider, the firm possessor of strength. And Allah created what is on the earth for us all. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا It is He who created for you all of that which is on the earth. Based on this ayah, the ulama conclude that everything on this earth is considered halal. We may use it unless there is other evidence that says it is haram. It is because Allah created everything for human beings. For human beings, for us. It also means that Allah has facilitated us. All of that are the facilities for what? For worshipping Allah. They are not there for us to have fun. No. Imagine an employee is being facilitated by his boss. So you work for us now. We give you a house with a swimming pool in it. So you will have a house. You will have a swimming pool. You will have a housemaid. At the back of the house, you will have a fish pond. MashaAllah. However, instead of fulfilling his duty, all that he does is swimming and fishing. Don't you think that the company will fire him at once? We gave you all these facilities so you will work well. You fulfill your obligation that you have nothing to worry about but work. But here you are having fun all the time, swimming, fishing. Unfortunately, that happens to a lot of people. They forget that the facilities are given for them to worship better, much easier and comfortable. But again, many are oblivious to that purpose. All that they do is entertaining themselves.